Sutton for mutton, Carshalton for beeves, Epsom for whores, and Yule for thieves, as the old Surrey folk rhyme goes. Because in this episode, I'm in my hometown to explore the historic area of Carshalton. Now a suburb of the London borough of Sutton, Carshalton is a charming suburban town that even today, with the busy A232 running through it, still has a distinct village atmosphere. Recorded history here stretches back over a thousand years, although artefacts have been found that date back to Neolithic times. With a water source nearby, now Carshalton Ponds, it's been suggested that there could have been a Neolithic settlement on the site that's now occupied by All Saints Church. Furthermore, in 1871, an excavation over at Beddington Park, which is not too far away, uncovered Roman villa and a bathhouse. Carshalton lies in the old Anglo-Saxon division of Wallington Hundred, and at the time of King Edward the Confessor, there were five manors situated here. Interestingly, Carshalton was known for its fresh springs, and this may have given the place its name, Cars Ol Tun, Ol meaning well or spring. You could say that Carshalton owes its existence to water. Carshalton appears in the Doomsday Book of 1086 as Alton. Now there actually is an Alton Way nearby. All Saints Church is a Grade 2 listed building and a place of worship has stood on this site from before Norman times. The church has been much altered over the years since the 12th century onwards with tower being the oldest part of the building. Exploring churchyards has always fascinated me, the amount of history you can find from looking at all the tombstones and the amount of people that are buried here going back three, four, even five hundred years. Before these residential houses were built, there was a manor house on this site. Unfortunately, that was demolished in the early 20th century. Just outside the church and by the A232 road is a spring called Anne Boleyn's Well. It is said to have received this name because it appeared when Anne Boleyn's horse kicked a stone and a spring of water appeared. This is just folklore, unfortunately, however romantic, and is more likely a reference to the Counts of Boulogne, who owned land here in the 12th century. With its source near Carshalton Ponds, the River Wandle, an ancient waterway, runs nine miles up to the London borough of Wandsworth, where it flows into the River Thames. There is evidence that the river was used in Roman times, although the name Wandle derived from the Saxon Wendelsworth, meaning Wendell's Settlement, which eventually became known as Wandsworth. The river today is a haven for wildlife as it weaves through the suburbia and areas of Greater London. Actually, there's a Wandal River on the South Island in New Zealand, which is actually named after our very own river. With a vast supply of water, it seems obvious that mills were a major industry in the area for hundreds of years, and a few can still be seen today. Before the advent of two-way radios in the 1960s, the area had a few police telephone boxes that of course are now synonymous as the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Shorten has this wonderful ecology centre and nature reserve and I really recommend uh, a visit if you're in the area. Carshalton was famous for its vast lavender fields with its heyday during the Victorian era and early 20th century 
but disappeared after massive urban expansion between the two world wars. Honeywood is a Grade 2 listed house that is now a museum with many artefacts on display dating back to the Bronze Age. The original flint and chalk building dates from the 17th century and remarkably has a fresh stream flowing underneath it. Directly opposite Carshorton Pond stands the Greyhound Inn, which was originally built in the early 1700s and has been providing refreshments for weary travellers for many years. The inn is a listed building and was a sporting centre where racehorses were inspected prior to competing on Banstead Downs. This is interesting, this is the Woodman pub. You can tell that this used to be a window until the window tax came in and they blocked it off. Nice little feature that. In the grounds of St Philomena's School for Girls stands the Grade 2 listed Carshalton Water Tower. Built in the early 18th century, the 130 foot structure contained a water power pump that supplied water to Carshalton House and the fountains in the garden. This road here actually won a charter from the uh, Crown back in the 1200s. There's been a chartered fair here for many, many years, unfortunately not anymore. Today, Carshalton Park holds the annual environmental fair and lies within a conservation area, although the park is only one tenth of its original size. The Hog Pit near the main entrance is now a dry reservoir and used as an amphitheatre, but there are medieval records from the 15th century that mention the place. Part of an ambitious landscaping project of the park, the grotto was built in 1724 and was part of a canal that stretched down to Carshorton Place, although it's now dry. However, that spell of wet weather we had in the winter of 2014 once again allowed water to flow through the park. In 2012, a long forgotten air raid shelter was rediscovered that had space for up to 1,000 people and was a remarkable discovery prompting media and TV coverage. Just like in our first episode from Cheam, the suburbia of Surrey is a much more interesting place once you peel back the surface of today's landscape. And as you go about your daily business, spare a thought for the many footsteps that walk the roads and streets here before you, from our earliest settlers onwards.